Good afternoon and welcome to my daily chat. Definitely feels better today. Okay, I'll get into that later. Um, today's episode is 487. Topic today is men listen up, and uh, this is going to be a bit. This is going to be interesting. And after the last few days of challenges I've had in my Facebook Live content, this seems a lot more flowing and available because I'm really ready to talk about this. It's something we need to talk about. Before I get to that, let me introduce myself and why I do what I do and what it is I do, so you know what I'm doing. <laughs> is that enough do's for you? My, my name is Barry Selby. I'm a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert. I help strong, successful women find and create balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the Divine Feminine, and for the last couple of years, getting close to, um, I do these Facebook Lives every day called Messages for the Masculine to Inspire Your Feminine Heart. And most of my talks are towards women, and of late, because of what's been happening the last few days, there's a reason to talk to the men, and I want to just drop some suggestions and some guidance out there because it's stuff I've had to learn. And I'm still making mistakes, so I'm speaking from my own experience, not just saying, you should do this. It's like, no, we should do this. So, listen. So this topic today is men, listen up. This is episode 487, as I mentioned. Getting in close to 400 now, 500 now, so that's going to be coming up in about two weeks. Wow, interesting. All right, so let's jump into this, shall we? If you haven't seen my broadcast before, by the way, these are Facebook Lives first, that then go on to YouTube, and then onto my podcast. And I'll give those links at the back end of the recording, if you actually want to find out where they are, and also where the replays of these end up more easily discoverable. Yes. And if anything comes up in the conversation I want to share about as in terms of products or opportunities or links, I'll probably do them verbally here and then put the links in the comments afterwards. No promises, just if that happens. So, you don't need to take notes necessarily. Then again, maybe you will, I don't know yet, this is not scripted. So the topic today is men listen up. And this is in particular because what's happening and is about to happen, um, if you've got any, <laughs> if you have any sensitivity to what's going on, you'll know what's coming, or you'll feel something's up, like it's not gonna be the same old, same old. So let me break some things down for you. Um, actually, this, this starts, this is kind of actually starting from a few things, including an article that was posted about Steve Bannon. Yes, Steve Bannon, talking about how he was saying, men watch out, the women are waking up type thing. And it's the end of the patriarchal society, and it's going to be the leader of the matriarchal society, it's going to change the planet, it's going to ruin everything. It's kind of what he said. I agree with him, and that's a good thing. <laughs> so, um, for the men watching this, if there are men, when men watch this, if you're not on the same page as me, I understand. But I'll let you know that the life raft for the men is leaving soon. If you ain't on it, you're going to get left behind. I didn't plan on saying that one. Okay. So, how to be on, the life, how to be on that life raft? <laughs> wow, that's an interesting metaphor or uh, image. All right, let's see where this goes. So, again, this is not... So, I should say, by the way, these talks, all 480 now, 87 of them, are never scripted. So, let's see where this goes. So, first of all, I want to speak to this part of, first of all, is gentlemen... If you're watching this, first of all, thank you for watching. I'll be clear about that because you could be doing something else. But if you're watching this and you want some input on how to be around women going forward, this is going to be some key information. The first thing I'm going to say is... Um, <laughs> actually, I've got three things competing for my attention. Let's start with the first one. first one that's coming up is... Um, shut up. Yes. Men, our job is to shut up first and then listen. That is probably the biggest thing of all we can do. Because right now, so many women are expressing their wounds, their hurt, their pain, and the repression that's been happening to them for the last two, 3,000 years. It may come out quite bluntly. And the first thing that you're going to be tempted to do is protect yourself. And like, whoa, not me. Well, bottom line is this. If not you, you're standing in for somebody else. So here's the thing. If it is you, take it personally. If it's not, don't. And that's what I mean, is that you're standing in the place where you can help a lot of women, if you're willing to, start to heal because you won't try to fix them, suppress them, or argue with them. So you shut up and you listen. That's two things you can do right off the bat that may just change your destiny. That may get you on the life raft. A third piece you can do is you don't offer any solutions. Yes, you don't offer any solutions unless they ask you for them, they being the women. I came a cropper, I, I came a cropper, that's a very London expression. I, I came up against this one yesterday, um, so I know from my experience, because I know better than this, 
but I don't always do better than this. <laughs> so let me be transparent. I'm not perfect at this by any stretch of the imagination, but I am clear about what does work and what doesn't work, and I'm doing my best to remember which is which and which to do. So yesterday a conversation a friend of mine confronted me with, I mentioned it yesterday's broadcast, I think, about how I had made some assumptions in something I said, and it was a mistake on my part, and I owned up to it. So that's, the other, that's another one, that's number four, I think. Yeah, so shut up, listen, don't offer solutions unless they're asked for them. Fourth one is, <laughs> this is a big one, guys. <laughs> know that it's okay. Uh, no, that's another way. I would say be willing, but that's probably not the right word either. But the truth is this. We're not right all the time. In fact, we're not right a lot of the time. So being willing to be wrong is a big part of that journey. Now, if a lot of you men out there watching, your ego is so toughened up, in fact, it's so fragile, that being wrong is against your creed. Get over it. The reality right now is there's so much happening in the world for the women that the better we can, the more we can be in service to that, in support of that, and get out of the damn way for that is critical. And so stepping into a place of one being okay to be wrong because ladies right now are voicing everything that's been happening to them and it's really going to be our job, our role to be receiving that. Not role that we're used to. I know men, you're not used to receiving, especially not that way. Now here's the thing. And this is one of mine I've had to work with. For a lot of us, we never did anything to women that was denigrating or debilitating or sexually inappropriate or any of that stuff. Doesn't mean we won't necessarily get approached thinking that has happened from us. That's what I'm saying. It's okay to be wrong. Meaning that if they start to accuse you or yell at men in general and you're standing there, it's not your job, which was what I was doing last week, to go, not all men. No, wrong response. At this point in time, the wrong response. Later on, yes, you can do that. But right now, the focus is simply to be present. And you can say, you can say things like, I hear you. And here's, the, and, and here's the thing. You can say, I hear you, when you are actually listening. Because again, as that was number two, is listen up. So shut up first, listen up second. Don't offer solutions, number three. Number four is be willing to be, 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 willing to be wrong. Because there's a lot of things men are not willing to do. And it's a thing that you need to learn how to do. Number five. It's funny, I start lumbering and I start to lose track in this. Let me just say what comes up next. So, and these are things that will get you on that life raft I mentioned. And I'm, t I'm being facetious about it. But the reality is what's, going, what's coming up, what's going forward, there's a change, there's a sea change happening. Not a seed change, a sea change, S-E-A. As in a tidal wave of transformations coming. And you've got two choices. Well, three. <laughs> <laughs> maybe four but only one's going to work so let me tell you what doesn't work resisting it isn't going to work ignoring it isn't going to work fighting against it is not going to work that's the three that won't work the one way it's going to work is to go with it and that wave isn't now control that's, that's going to be number five trying not to be in control because it's not about us being in control at this point this is, the, this is going to be I would say this way it's going to be kind of the ladies show the women show it's their chance to step up speak up own the space and speak for themselves and our role is going to be more passenger than driver in this case so number five is is to go with the flow and that isn't easy for a lot of men because a lot of us men are control freaks and we want to have so we run our egos control never be wrong make things out do things our way not listen to anybody else exactly the opposite of what i'm saying so as i'm saying these five things so far there may be more coming are going to be fundamental things that you may want to learn and practice and, and let me put one thing on the top of that do them honestly don't fake these things out be real be willing so don't, so don't sort of like say I'm willing to be wrong with your fingers crossed behind your back no none of that crap this is a chance for us to be part of the solution rather than contributing to the problem you know I mentioned earlier about how we may have been the perpetrators of all these problems but we may have been passengers for those problems so we, I believe, all men, almost all men, I'll be clear, I can't say everybody, but almost all men have some responsibility in this um, place we're in now, either by abdication or by participation. And right now, it's more about let's let the ladies, the women, take charge, lead up, and only be willing to offer solutions if they're asked for them. Yes, I know it's going to be really tough to do. But this is the big game we're playing right now because this is going to change the culture we live in, quite possibly. And part of it's going to be the result of the hearings, which is what's going on, in case you're wondering. Part of it's going to be what's going to happen in November. But if nothing else, 
part of it's going to be a way of life going forward. What's happening lately is such a such a shift, such a ripple effect, such a change amongst womankind, if that's a white word term to use, that we a lot of men aren't even aware of it yet. And as I said, it's a sea change. There's a there's a transformation happening that if we don't wake up to it, we're going to be steamrolled by it. And it's time, frankly. I mean, I'm going to admit this right up front, and I said it at the front as well. We aren't in the right on this one. We can help in solving it, but only when we're asked to. But as I said, those five things I mentioned, they can be hard for all of you guys. They were hard for me, so I'm not saying it's easy. But it's important for us to step in that role where we can have equal footing, eventually, not necessarily initially, and this is the challenge, equal footing with the women. Because right now, the best we can do is make space, a large space for them to fill up the space with. Because frankly, women have been so far behind on this for so long, there's a lot of um, emotional energy brewing, and I'm putting that politely. And if you, <laughs> as I mentioned earlier about the fact if you try and stop the wave, it's going to be such a waste of your energy. It really is. The transformation that's coming, the work that's going to be done, what's shifting in the world is going to be so much bigger than you even th can even dream of. And right now, as Steve Bannon quite aptly put it, the change is coming and the old boy network can't handle it. It will. This, this is the good news and the bad news. The good news is, is that it's trying for the change to happen. The bad news is those safety nets we've had in place for so long will be gone, which means a new paradigm is about to be created. At least that's my belief. Now, I could be totally wrong on this. I could be making stuff out and blowing smoke out of my whatever. But I frankly feel from what I've seen now, and of course, I'm also watching posts from my friends and people I care about who are leaders in the feminine arena, leading other women, being powerful leaders as well. And I'm on board with it. Yes, I'm, on, I'm not a trader in my kind because I keep thinking that's what I'm in my head. But I'm really aware because I've been doing this work for a long time and I've been involved with women's work for a long time too with my coaching, my clients and everything I do that I've been almost praying for this to happen. Now, I didn't pray for the hearing to happen with all the crap that's coming out of that. But I've been praying for the shift for women to step up. How it's going to happen, I, have no, I had no idea. I'm getting a sense of it now. But I'm definitely ready to see it happen and be part of the solution when and if that's included for the men. So I hope this has been of use to you. This is not something I would say is the easiest thing for people to take on, to digest, to um, accept, but it's needed. I mean, these five are just a starter list. There's way more than that. Let me see if anything else shows up whilst I'm talking. But what I'm aware of is that we have, as men, in many times, neglected our role, neglected our responsibility, and neglected our hearts with women. And for a lot of men out there, this is going to be a big, big wake up call because the women are waking up and if you don't wake up gentlemen and really start to learn how to be a humil, a, a humble humil, a humble heart centered man who stands in his truth his strength and his support then there's going to be some seriously seriously discordant experiences ahead of you discordant is the word I used because what's been coming what's coming forward now as I said, the paradigm that we've been in is going to change. And you may be looking to step this way, and suddenly you've got to go step that way, if that makes sense. Because the shift is going to be so dramatic. But it may not be, well, let me rephrase that. It's dramatic if you've not been noticing it. If you have been noticing it, it's kind of like pretty quick, and it's going to be amazing to watch. But I believe it's time. And for some of the, some of the women's leaders I know, I am absolutely in, in awe and respect to what's happening because they've been holding up for this for a long time and I'm seeing what I feel and maybe it's just a premonition not that I'm that style of person I don't do that foretelling a future this stuff and <laughs> there's a sense that I have that the movement that's been shifting the movement that's been coming forward the shifting of the women into leadership into cooperation into um, collaboration too over the last six, seven, eight years especially, but certainly beyond that as well. It's all coming together to make a, um, <laughs> another analogy showed up. Okay, so it's been coming together building a, a um, concentrated mass, energetically speaking. The hearings and what happened with Dr. Ford, that was the fuse. You can imagine what's coming next. It might be that blast, it may be that powerful a blast, and again, it might be more of a um, as I mentioned, a sea change, a ripple that's so powerful it's inexorable but takes more time. In some ways, the, the explosion might be more powerful and more effective because it will be more awakening than a subtler way. 
Now, I have no control over that. Um, I have my thoughts about it, as I've said, and I definitely feel that there's something coming. And so I'm offering this video as a reminder to men that we can participate in that in a very positive way. Now, again, as I said before, there's four ways of doing it wrong, one way of doing it right, your choice. Um, I recommend the one choice I said, which is going with the flow. It's gonna be interesting the next few weeks. It's gonna be interesting every day right now. And I am of the mind that the change that we're coming, for, coming with, that we're bringing forward, is what's needed more than ever. It's so clear in so many ways where we have not been wise stewards of this planet. And until the women are in charge equally as their own roles, probably, it may be because they lead for a while and then becomes more equal at some point, that's when things will change for the better. So I've been holding this for a long time too. And I'm clear that it's needed. So that's my um, vote, <laughs> so to speak. So having said all that, I appreciate you watching and being with me. This one is, um, <laughs> this one's more provocative, I know. So I appreciate you being with me as always. This one is, is, is a, um, this, this teaching, this invitation, this reminder, I hope lands for you men. This is one that I recommend men to watch because this could, this could be something that will change your life and save your life and save your relationships if you're in one because it's all, uh, there we go. Because what I'm aware of is this um, alarm call, this radio frequency, this energy that's coming out for women that are connecting is totally outside of our ability to hear it. That's why we don't know what's going on for a lot of men, but the women are waking up. And it is really time. As Reverend Michael said yesterday, Reverend Michael Beckwith at Agape said yesterday, um, he said the um, the mute speech, the the mute the mute button for women has been turned off. And that was a that got a standing ovation from the whole room, because it means that the women are speaking up, standing up, stepping up, and ain't nothing we can do about it, men. In the past, we tried to, ain't gonna happen this time. And thankfully, finally, finally, change is gonna happen. So. I'm getting off my soapbox now. <laughs> I hope it's been of value to you. I do always invite questions, comments, and stuff like that in the, in the comments afterwards. This again is my Facebook Live I do every day. That then goes onto my YouTube channel, onto my podcast. I'll give you those links so you can find me. Um, and again, comments, questions, I welcome them. If you want to reach out and talk about it, you can go to my website, which is my name, all my social media, and my, and my website is my name, Barry Selby. BarrySelby.com is my site and the other stuff. If you go to my um, replays for this on Facebook, or on my business page, which is barryselby.author, and then on my YouTube channel, which is Barry Selby, is the username of the channel and messages from the masculine is the playlist, and then eventually onto my podcast, that's building. I'll leave it at that. Um, if you search for messages from the masculine in iTunes, you'll find my podcast. Subscribe to that on my YouTube channel. Please do with both, and download the ones on my podcast if you want to, and hopefully it can have helped to you. Um, take these keys to heart. If you want to be on the life raft, I'm... I, jokingly threw out there you can't just sit there and do nothing so ladies if you're watching this please share it with the men that you think might get value from this men if you're watching this please share it with your friends as well and if there's questions comments and if you want to even attack this feel free because I know I can feel what's coming and I may be wrong but I don't think I am so I hope this has been a value to you thanks for watching as always I'll see you again tomorrow for number 488 oh by the way um Tomorrow is going to be different, not different. Tomorrow's going to be an interesting day because tomorrow is the first time I'm going to be doing a dual broadcast at 6 p.m. after my broadcast. So I do my regular broadcast at 5 p.m. Pacific time. That's when I do my broadcast if you're watching it live or in the replay. But Tuesdays, I'm going to be doing a team up. So I'll be going over to my friend's house and it's going to be the, uh, we'll be doing it live with Gina and Barry at 6 p.m. So you'll be seeing me twice tomorrow. So with that, I uh, thank you for watching. As always, please take care of yourselves and take this to heart and let me know what you think of it. I hope it's been of value to you. I'll see you again tomorrow at the same time, same bat channel, and uh, take care. Bye.